This is Twit. Cloudflare's summary of interesting statistics which they gathered over the course of 2023. This is their fourth annual review of internet trends and patterns which they've observed throughout the year at both the global and also at the country and regional uh, level. So probably the, the, the metric which most surprised me was that global internet traffic grew 25% in 2023. Wow. They know, I know. That's a shock. I, I'm, it is a, it astonishing. They noted that major holidays, severe weather, and intentional shutdowns clearly impacted internet traffic. We'll talk about intentional tra- uh, uh, intentional shutdowns in a second. But, you know, remember all that dark fiber we once had, you know, during that internet, uh, that initial internet overbuild? I would bet that there's far less excess today than there once was. But, Leo, I agree with you. Think about that for a minute. 25% growth in internet traffic in one year. What? That is a massive increase in something that's already as mature as the Internet. The only thing I could imagine that might account for that is the continuing increase in the use of streaming media oh, for content delivery. Yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, you know, I had been a happy TiVo user for years switching from analog TiVo to digital TiVo, but remaining with traditional cable TV. But then for me, six years ago, when I was setting up my new home with Lori, I tried an experiment. We never asked Cox for cable TV, only internet service. And I've never looked back. And and so, Leo, that seems plausible to you too. Yeah, that's... It's, it's, the widespread access to broadband, I mean, really fast broadband, also probably encourages people right. to do things like stream more content. Um, right, that, that, yeah. that they just weren't doing before. I saw a stat, uh, oh, I wonder if I can remember it, uh, that Netflix, how many petabytes of data Netflix uh, sends over a month, and it's many hundreds of petabytes, and that's and just I, Netflix. I have, a buddy, I have a buddy whose father does nothing but, but sit well, on, on, on the couch with his phone in, you know, in landscape orientation, watching T- Turner movie classics. Yeah. You know, th- th- that's how he spends his day. You know, so like people are watching movies on their phones now. Yeah. That didn't used to happen. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And we, I mean, people have always watched TV all day, but now they're streaming and streaming right. a lot all day. Right. So, yeah, I guess that must be it. Right. Netflix, wow. Netflix in, in, bump. in 2019 took up 11% of the global downstream traffic on the internet that, you know, so I'm sure that it's at least that much. And then, and then add on top of that, you know, HBO max or just max, I guess it's called Disney plus all of this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not surprised. I think it's gotta be, I think you nailed it. Okay. Not surprisingly, Google was again, the most popular internet service, but TikTok which was the leader two years oh, ago. Oh, yeah, we're watching a lot more of that, too. Videos, yeah. Yep, yep. TikTok fell to fourth place. The ranking among the top 10 from number one to number 10 is Google, Facebook, Apple, TikTok, Microsoft, YouTube, AWS, Instagram, Amazon, and iCloud. And... I have to say I'm a bit surprised that Apple's domain is in number three position above TikTok in number four and YouTube in number six and Instagram in number eight. Well, you know, like what's Apple doing? Is it just Apple TV? I, I'm really surprised by the, by no, the because, fact that. No, uh, because think about it. I mean, all the downloads of apps – uh, you know, the App Store all comes from Apple. The music, uh, Apple's uh, the number one streaming music service. Uh, all of that okay. music. Uh, I mean, okay. Apple's doing a lot of streaming, actually, Yeah, <laughs> if you think about it. And I guess when you buy a movie on iTunes, the stream comes from Apple, too. So there, you know, yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Uh, as we know, OpenAI was the most popular service in the, emer- in the emerging generative AI category, and Binance remained the most popular cryptocurrency service. 
On the mobile front, also no surprise, over two-thirds of all mobile device traffic was consumed by Android devices, with Android commanding a greater than 90% share of mobile device traffic in over 25 countries and re- and uh, or regions. So there, there were places where Android was two-thirds and iOS was one-third, and there were countries where it was almost all Android. So, uh, I mean, like, you know, Bangladesh, for example, was like, you know, all, there was hardly any iOS activity there. And in the skies above us, the global traffic from Starlink nearly tripled in 2023. Wow. After initiating service in Brazil in mid-2022, Starlink traffic from that country jumped by more than a factor of 17 in 2023. So I guess anywhere where, you know, your connectivity challenged and Starlink is offering service, you're, you're going to see a big jump in Starlink traffic in that region. So, but again, Starlink up by a factor of three. On websites... Uh, Google Analytics, React, and HubSpot were among the most popular technologies. And worldwide, nearly half of web requests are now using HTTP slash 2, with 20% using HTTP slash 3, and the balancing around 30% still back at slash 1 or 1.1. Node.js was the most popular most popular programming language used for making automated API requests by browsers to backend servers. Cloudflare noted that as developers increasingly use automated API calls to power dynamic websites and applications, they are able to use their visibility, that is Cloudflare, is able to use its visibility into web traffic. So they're able to see what's going on. You know, they're often serving as a proxy in front of web services. So they're able to identify the languages and the APIs that the clients are are written in. So beyond Node.js, which holds the number one spot at 14.6%, the ranking in descending order behind Node.js is Go at 8.4%, Java at 7%, Python at 6.8% and .NET at 4.3%. And during 2023, Googlebot was responsible for the highest volume of request traffic to Cloudflare's hosted and their proxied sites. Not surprisingly, you know, Google's busy sucking down web content in order to keep its indexes current. Um, As for internet connectivity and speed, Cloudflare saw over 180 internet outages during uh, globally during 2023, with many, they said, deliberately created by government-directed regional and national shutdowns of their own internet connectivity. And we've, you know, we've talked about this happening before, where for various reasons, uh, like like on um, on voting day, various countries will say, okay. Pull the plug. We don't want anybody on the Internet while we're doing whatever it is we're doing. So 180 times. Um, So basically, what, one every other day on average. Only one third of IPv6 capable requests worldwide were made over IPv6. So even though IPv6 capable servers are still relatively rare, Among those services that do support IPv6, two-thirds of the queries they received were to their IPv4 addresses, not taking advantage of IPv6. And that's not really that surprising at this point. It's going to be a while. The top 10 countries um, all had measured average download speeds above 200 megabits per second on average. That is the average user among the top 10 countries had speeds over 200 megabits with, interestingly, Iceland showing the best results across all four measured internet quality metrics. You ask why? Well, the reason for Iceland's outstanding performance is that over 85% of all internet connections there 
are over fiber. So they've got really, you know, just a base of really good internet connectivity in Iceland. Over 40% of all global traffic is exchanged with mobile devices. 40% is now mobile. And in more than 80 countries and regions, the majority of all traffic is exchanged with mobile devices. And I guess that's no surprise, again, uh, in, in, in countries that are, you know, basically just mobile users instead of uh, desktop connectivity. And finally, on the security front, just under 6% of global traffic was mitigated by Cloudflare's systems as being potentially malicious or for customer-defined reasons. In the, uh, so 6% of all global traffic was blocked. In the United States, 3.65% of traffic was mitigated, while in South Korea, it was 8.36%. A third of global bot traffic comes from the United States. And over 11% of global bot traffic comes from Amazon Web Services. And, and just to remind everybody, they don't mean bots as in malicious bots. Cloudflare means anything that's automated. So any and all legitimate internet indexing bots would doubtless be a hefty part of that total of 11%. But on the malicious front globally, finance was the most attacked industry. But the timing of spikes in mitigated traffic and the large and, and, and the target industries did vary widely throughout the year and around the world. So it's not only finance that is being attacked. Even though the two-year-old Log4J vulnerability remained a top target for attacks during 2023, the HTTP slash two rapid reset attacks, which we covered a few months back, emerged as a significant new vulnerability, beginning with a flurry of record-breaking attacks. And as we know, they did cause a little bit of stumble on Cloudflare's systems until they were able to, to update them in order to mitigate the attack. And get this, 1.7% of TLS 1.3 traffic is already today using post-quantum encryption. So we're beginning to get there. Uh, I know 1.7% won't get us there, but still, uh, TLS 1.3 does offer some of those protocols, and they're beginning to get used. In malicious email messages, deceptive links, in other words, phishing, and extortion attempts were the two most common types of threats people received. And finally, the good news is that uh, GP, uh, is it um, uh, PGP style? Inter I mean, <laughs> GP. Why can't I say this? Um, BGP. Woo. Woo. BGP. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Border Gateway Protocol. Everybody, BGP style internet routing security measured as the share of valid routes improved globally during 2023. Significant improvement in routing security was observed in countries including Saudi Arabia, the UAE, and Vietnam. So, stepping back overall, no big surprises. And overall, when viewed from 20,000 feet, the internet remains largely stable. It's cool to see the emergence of some post-quantum crypto protocol usage, and I'm still surprised that there could be year-over-year -year growth of 25% in overall traffic. That just, that's a, that's a big bump. This episode of Tech Break is brought to you by our friends at IT Pro TV, now called ACI Learning. Provide more support for MSP teams by keeping their skills up to date in all aspects of IT, including MS Cloud, AWS, CompTIA, and so much more. Twit listeners can receive up to 65% off an IT Pro Enterprise Solution Plan. The discount is based on the size of your team when you fill out their form.